What's up guys, Ken Jr. on the mic. It's Monday morning here, and this is our first 97 KTM 360 SX that we brought through the shop um, of any year. Uh, this is the 1997 model. Ken's going to tell you all about it and demo the bike for you. Um, the 360 is a sweet bore. It's got mountains of torque, as much power as a 500 but it runs like a 252 stroke. The thing is nasty. What's up guys, Ken Senior here. I gotta admit, I am more excited to ride this thing than I am the CR500 that we're about to test after this one. And for a good reason, Chris Kelly, the Dirt Bike Wizard rode this and said it's faster than his 2019 KTM 250SX. That bike's putting down over 50 rear wheel horsepower. These are rated for around 55, but like Kenny said, it's 250 like power, uh, power band with 500 type torque in horsepower. So just this thing is bristling with trickery. It's a 97, but it looks like it just came out of the crate. It's got uh, uh, the Olin's shock glistening in the sun here. The shock's in brand new condition. The bike has very, very low hours. These are the original graphics and shroud, original side panels, and um, bike's largely original except for some of the upgrades. It's got the, uh, zo zoom in on this pipe right here. It's got a dyno port pipe. And it's got the factory KTM carbon fiber side cover. The pipe's in mint shape. It has the, um, the carb is jetted perfectly for the pipe. That's one of the things with these KTMs. It's important. You got to get the jetting right. This is, stock silencer pops. This is a, uh, the silencer is, I can't read it without my. I, I, I think that's a stock KTM silencer. It may be the, yeah, I think it is a stock silencer. The wheels have been upgraded to the Takasago XL black rims. It makes it look a little bit more modern. It has a, uh. New set of Pirelli tires, front and rear. So you can you can see the, the new Pirelli tires, the uh, Takasawa XL rims. If you come around this side right here, it's got the Super Sprocks gold in black sprocket with a gold chain on there, new counter shaft sprocket. So it's it's been freshened up a little bit. The seat cover looks brand new on it. The um, 360SX graphics look new, extremely low hour bike. If you look at the frame rails in the bottom, obviously not a bike that was motoed or a J8 or anything. The look at the look at the the uh, uh, bash pan on the on pan on the bottoms in mint shape, as are the engine cases. And Junior told me, and I think this really that's one of the reasons I'm really excited. Junior said he liked this better than the CR500. Super stout, thick front forks. Um, I think these are 43 millimeter right side up forks. Olin shocks, Brembo disc brakes, Deval racing uh, side covers on it. The original pegs, brake lever. Kickstarter, everything's in mint shape and it's like a brand new bike. So good luck finding a nicer one. I, I, I have not seen anything even close to this caliber for a vintage KTM that wasn't restored. This is an original unmolested bike, just uh, part of a local collector's collection. If you've, if you've been following us, this was the local collection I bought, I think seven or eight bikes from the guy. All of his stuff was on point and pristine. And I haven't ridden this yet. I've never ridden it. Kenny just took it out and warmed it up. So it's fully warmed up. I'm gonna fire it up and uh, take it for a little rip. I'm not going to do any stunts, though, because I don't want to end up on my ass. So just a beautiful bike. This would look great under the Christmas tree if you've got a uh, motocross or woods rider. This is the SX model. It's set up for motocross, the gearing, and the transmission, but it will do double duty as a hair scrambles or off-road bike also. The, the KTMs came stock, like Ken said, with the Brembo calipers and the stainless braided lines. The brakes feel great. Uh, the steel chassis, all these felt big. If you're a bigger guy, this is what you need. First kick, first time I started it. With the monster front forks, those are fully adjustable compression and rebound. Um, Ken didn't mention, but it's actually the stock front number plate to the bike as well, the original. Uh, the front and rear fenders are UFOs, but all of the rest of the plastics are original from the factory. In 2015, when I was chasing points on a YZ252 stroke, I would go through a set of plastics every race. You know, cartwheel down a straightaway, getting, you know, Robin's racing, boys. Get together with someone else, you're ripping a shroud off. That's not this bike. That's the factory plastics on the clutch cover side it's all new seals 
We believe this is the standard board. The mortar hasn't been re rebuilt. The Christians are a super stout, low vibration, tons of torque. Front end comes right up. I didn't even get it into the power band, and it's standing straight up. So, we'll take it. When Chris bought this thing up from service like two weeks ago, him and I were taking turns riding it in the parking lot and we, we were just like oohing and on and, and taking turns on it and like holy cow Batman this this thing absolutely rips. Like I said, it was is the first one that I had gotten to ride in my life. And I was impressed nonetheless. Holy shit. I, I hope my, my soundtrack here is doing the bike justice. <laughs> So we brought it in new chain sprockets, fresh oil, air filter checked, not sure if it's a new air filter. But I know we have some fresh VP 110 mixed 50 50 with 93 octane pump. So it's about 100 octane with fuel stabilizer in there, mixed 32 to 1 with some caster 927. And it smells as good as it sounds. Talking about this thing, absolutely rips. I was having thoughts of taking this to Southwick on practice when the track's nice and smooth. This has got 55 rear wheel horsepower. It weighs about 212 pounds. It's gonna absolutely rip. It feels really light, very fast. Hey, let go of the clutch lever. I want to show them how little it vibrates. up the ground for next spring, I don't know. Hey. Wanna do one? Send it, yeah. When you put a million hours on these bikes, the, the cranks start to vibrate like, I don't even know what to compare it to. Sounds nasty. So when we bring bikes in like this that are just like, wow, you know, you, you, you're sitting there at idle and, and you give it a, a quick rev and you're just like, like, and it just feels tight. to pull this out the nationals with a rider, rider like canning this thing could compete in the national level in either j-day or motocross no doubt about it it is that good faster than a brand new 2019 250 sx as proven by dirt wizard this thing's nasty
we failed to mention. There's one thing that we failed to mention. Um, KTM doesn't make the, the large displacement two strokes anymore. That's true. No, uh, nobody does. <laughs> yeah, definitely, if you want to go out and, and blow away your friends on their brand new KTM 450 SXs they spent 12 grand on, I promise you it can be done on this bike if you're a good enough rider. Put canning on this. Put ju I, I guarantee you, Junior could wax a local amateur class on this bike, no problem, up at Southwick. It's got, this would be great on a sand track or a deep loam track. Take this thing to Unadilla. The front end's super, super, super rigid. 43 millimeter right side up forks. The Olin shock is on point. That's a $1,500 shock. It's got a $400 pipe on it. It's got a $300 carbon fiber silencer. It's got a $500 set of wheels on here. Well, not only that, but There's it- thousands it, of dollars of extras on it, this it, bike and it's brand new. It has, it has the frame guards. It has the bash pan on the bottom. The pipe, like you said, um, I mean, this is a bike that you could part out and, 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 and easily, you know, uh, make all your money back and more. So That would be a big mistake. That, that would be a big mistake. But. This thing deserves to be ridden uh, or put in the museum. I'm going to have Doc wash the, the tires in the underside of the fender and put it back in the museum. It'll be here on display. This would make a kick-ass Christmas present. for If you have a KTM or motocross lover in your family or someone is in the off-road or you want to buy it for yourself, buy the gift that keeps on giving. This thing will be fun miles of smiles all year long and it's got the Olin shock to protect your back that's for sure it don't get any better than this captain america approved good luck bidding god bless america don't miss this one this is going to sell fast i wish we could keep it but we've got a lot of overhead here got to pay the bills got to pay the staff so she's going up for auction all proceeds go to fund the museum so you're, help, you're buying a piece of killer moto two-stroke big boar history you're also helping preserve the museum so god bless happy holidays